Looking again at my reference drawing, I can see that there's a sloped back edge that has the same thickness of 0.75. There's a hole through the bottom that's located two inches from this outside corner and has a diameter of one inch. And there is a rounded corner or a fillet applied to that outside corner with a radius of 0.5. To add the back sloping edge to my existing base feature, I'm going to start a new sketch. I'll turn my base feature so that I can use this back edge as the sketch plane. And now I'll view normal to the sketch plane and start with my line tool. And I'll snap to this upper corner. Now notice that these lines of my existing object that are on the sketch plane become usable in my new sketch. And this immediately turns black telling me that it's fully defined because these existing lines have become available to be part of my sketch. I'm going to confirm sketch 2, choose an isometric view, and now extrude this sketch. I want to choose, this is going to be a solid, it's not going to be new, it's going to be added to my base feature. Um, the face has already been chosen, but the direction is not right, so I'm going to choose the opposite direction. And in this case, it's the same as the other, so it's going to be 0.75. I can see the feature will be created as I want. I can right-click and say Confirm Extrude 2, or I can click the green checkbox on the dialog box to accept that. And you see that Extrude 2 has now been added to my feature list. Next I'm going to create the hole in the bottom plate. I'm going to add this by creating a new sketch. And for my sketch plane I'm going to use this bottom surface of my object. So when I click on that, that becomes my sketch plane. I'm going to right click, view normal. And I'll choose a center point circle which I'm going to add here. And I know that it is one inch, so I'm going to go ahead and set the diameter right now. Diameter one inch. And for location, I'll use my dimension tool. The center of the circle to this edge is going to be two inches. And from the center of the circle to this edge is also going to be two inches. And with that, all the lines have turned black and I know that my sketch is fully defined. With this I'm going to right click and escape my dimension tool, right click and confirm sketch 3 and choose an isometric view. To remove the material for this hole I'm going to choose my extrude feature. This time I'm going to be using the remove function I have to choose the profile, so I'll choose that circle that we just drew. And for my end type, I have a drop down menu here. I'm going to say through all. So that will go through the bottom. I'll use the check mark to accept. And now I've created the hole through the bottom of the part. The last feature I'm going to add is a rounded corner on this outside edge. This will be placed with a fillet because this is not based on a sketch it is considered to be a placed feature and they're usually added last in my construction process. So I want to choose the entities to be filleted. I'm going to choose this line that is on the outside corner. We'll set the radius for 0.5 and that looks right. So I'll accept this by clicking on the green box and the check mark and now my object or my part is complete with all of the added features.